Hey everybody, we're working on some ASMR. So, I don't really know what ASMR even stands for, but apparently people just talk like this for some reason. And I thought I would share with you something from Afro Magazine about DMT machine elves. From Afro.com psychedelic privilege are DMT entities racist DMT users often come across strange beings called machine elves they are dispensing advice and adventure to those on DMT trips but see they were thought to be benevolent but we can no longer ignore the Black DMT Experience by Afro Magazine. Safe and recreational drugs is one of the many important cultural contribution that folks of color have made in the 20th century. Whether it's responsible Hennessy drinking or the cornucopia of culture that is cannabis, we invented it long before white folks prostituted it. Prostituted it into consumerism. Hang on, this is serious, people. But there's one drug that's unquestionably and uniquely shrouded in whiteness. A white drug, if you will. Oh, we're not talking about cocaine, either. It's DMT. See, everywhere you look, you can find the whitest sishet men singing the praises of DMT or related psychedelics. You know, from Joe Rogan to Post Malone. And in case you've expected it all from the white man being involved, the truth is that there are, unsurprisingly, hidden layers of racism here. You see, TMT may be shrouded in whiteness nowadays, but like everything else that you think is white, the drug actually has Latinx origins. Yes, uh, clearly jealous of their lacking cultural contrib contributions in the sphere of recreational drugs, white folks decided to just outright culturally appropriate one. But if you remove cishet white men from the equation, then you'll find out that DMT actually has a history much richer and more divorce. Di oh, I'm sorry, and diverse than a hard trip. What the hell is going on? Let's try that again. Actually, it has a history much richer and more diverse than a hard tack cracker. To understand the Latinx history of DMT, you need first to understand ayahuasca. To put it short and sweet, ayahuasca is the main psychoactive ingredient in DMT. Ayahuasca is a natural plant that grows in nature, just like marijuana, meaning it's safe. It has been used for centuries by the indigenous people around the Amazon basin in spiritual rituals. So that's pretty neat, but we've only scratched the surface of DMT. Something you'll quickly learn if you travel in the right psychedelic communities online is that DMT actually gets kind of creepy for black folks. For some reason, black folks around the world have experienced a similar racist phenomenon when taking DMT. But to avoid diluting their message, we'll let their testimonies speak for themselves. Testimonies about DMT entities from people of color. One common phenomenon across DMT experiences or trips is coming across DMT entities called machine elves. 
they are walking, talking creatures that one encounters when taking DMT. The term machine elf was coined by ethnobotanist Terence McKenna for the entities he encountered in DMT, quote, hyperspace. Also using terms like fractal elves or self-transforming machine elves, McKenna first encountered the machine elves after smoking DMT in Berkeley in 1965. Sometimes the creatures are friendly and reveal deeper truths about the universe, or they might even take your hand and bring you on a journey. But unfortunately, that's not the experience many black folks have reported. Black folks can't even escape the scourge of systematic racism in the DMT realm. One person reported that their first trip was good, but their second trip took a turn for the worst. Quote, This time, instead of the sacred, I was greeted with the profane and saw cartoons of racist characters and caricatures mocking me. They were malevolent, and it felt like I could die, this person reported. As much as the first trip was welcoming and, and accepting, the second trip was pushing me away, and I felt a strong sense of no. My friend said that the elves were making a machine, and they turned around and saw him, and they said, hey, look, the N-word is back. Another person reported. The most chilly, the most chilling experience. Reported. Oh, oh, that's that's so sad. I'm crying. The most chilling experience reported so far, in, invokes the powerful imagery of the slain Emmett Till. Quote, I was surrounded by the elves, and they all started chanting. Emmett Till, Emmett Till, the trip report began, quote, I later learned that Emmett Till was a black man accused of harassing a white girl in the 1950s. I had never heard of this story before, being a black man who grew up in a white school district. Then the elves started to rush me, and they all picked me up and started chanting, They all, picked me they all picked me up and started chanting the N-word. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. It, then the elves started to rush me, and they all picked me up and started chanting the N-word while carrying me. The elves threw me down a black hole, and I continued to fall for around 10 minutes until my trip ended. Okay, people, this is serious. Uh, Anti-black spiritual warfare. One possible explanation for the racist incidents while taking DMT is the occurrence of racist DMT entities isn't merely accidental or coincidental. Uh, considering the Latinx origin of DMT and ayahuasca, it's not completely outside the realm of possibility that these racist entities are extensions of conflicts happening in the everyday realm, a sort of, quote, spiritual turf war going on between black and Latinx compu communities. This is the inevitable and direct result of white supremacy. We can definitely say this because it's something that happens not only in the realm of the spiritual, but also in the realm of the physical. White men take all of the resources and land, leaving Latin 
Latinx and black community to fight amongst themselves for the scraps. Ideally, both groups would band together to fight against their oppressor, but that's not the case as long as the waters are muddied and we all fight each other. Still, let's not discount the fact that some Latinx man, men are willing militants in the fight for white supremacy. Uh, just look at some of the recent, recent shootings in the U.S. committed by Latinx men. Yes, Latinx men might have some interesting intersecting oppressions of their own, but they're still favored in the patriarchal white supremacist system over black folks who are at the bottom. Internalized Oppression Another possible explanation for racist DMT experiences is that some black folks, specifically the type of black people who are male and would watch something like Joe Rogan, are just subconsciously racist against fellow black people. The occurrence of these racist DMT elves could be the result of internalized oppression felt by the lonely incel black men and teenagers who are convinced by their racist white friends to consume racist media like Joe Rogan and Jordan Peterson. The DMT entities then dance to their subconscious tune like blackface minstrel shows of old. Also, consider that one table with one racist and a group of other people is actually a table full of racist people. If you choose to associate yourself with racists and tolerate racism, then you're a racist too. This also applies in the spiritual world. So if you, turn, if you choose to surround yourself with racist DMT creatures and keep returning to their realm, then, by Occam's razor, that means you're a racist too, even if you're a black man. Are DMT beings AI? The idea that we are all living in a simulation is a fairly credible scientific theory at this point. Simulation theory suggests that the probability of our existence being derived from one of the billions of... Oh, Fuck that fucking dog. Are DMT beings AI, artificial intelligence? The idea that we are all living in a simulation is a fairly credible scientific theory at this point. Simulation theory suggests that the probability of our existence being derived from one of the billions of simulations running inside a physical universe. There are a lot of similar theories, and you should do your own research on it. The point is that there's a possibility that reality as we know it isn't really reality. If simulation theory is real, what does that make of the DMT entities? Are they part of the simulation too? I, I think the easiest explanation here is that the DMT entities are actually kind of like NPCs or non-playable characters or robots, AI programs. This explanation is likely the truth because we already know that AI programs are inherently racist. A DMT being linked to AI isn't a novel concept I just came up with. There are numer numerous related anecdotes and theories circulating online. This really brings me to the conclusion that technology we see up there on DMT or even the other psychedelics is essentially AI in its infancy stage and we too alongside with it are infancy stage emerging out of the womb of matter and into a more liquid, malleable, loving reality. I know there's a lot of scary stories out there about AI, but 
This thing is the closest that seems to make sense to me. That we both evolved together and that the digital nature of reality is birthed through matter over and over again. DMT entities, being AI pro programs, would also further prove that we are living in a system of systematic racism. The creators of the simulation literally created racist AI entities to torment black folks, as if it wasn't enough that they created a world that is inherently racist in almost all aspects. Whatever the full truth of DMT elves is, we have just one piece of advice for the black folks. Please stay away from this drug. It's not safe for us. Twas ever thus. And in case you missed it, my friend said that the elves were making a machine and they turned around and saw him and they said, hey, look, the N-word is back. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> the elves started to rush me and they picked me up and started chatting the N-word <laughs> This is serious. Guys, uh, please, this is ASMR. It's very serious. <laughs> oh, God. I laid out of the hotel. They all started chanting and until. Make Afro magazine in this story. <laughs> this article is entitled uh, "DMT Entities Being Racist." Psychedelic privilege. Are <laughs> DMT entities racist? Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna move on. We're gonna now move on to our next ASMR uh, ASMR story. <laughs> 